morning my friends today I'm on Tripoli Street on my way to uh, the Madania to eat breakfast it's 8 in the morning and it's uh, Saturday we're in late March 2023 I'm going to show you a uh, a route because in fact uh, although I'm driving to El Madania from this neighborhood I don't really have to drive all the way to the end of Tripoli Street in order to go there I could uh, choose to take another alley on the left in order to avoid the busiest parts or the most congested parts of Tripoli Street some 15 years ago Tripoli Street was very different from what it is now it used to be a, a wider street with two lanes but uh, the local authorities built this streetcar line here on the right with two tracks and uh, and it helps a lot of people living in the eastern or rather yes the northeastern suburbs of Algiers to, to come to work, to, to commute to work and school here in the central parts of the city. Uh, but on the other hand, uh, the project harmed the, the business life here. And of course this happens with every big project. It could benefit a lot of people and it could harm some. So this is Broset, this is Broset with its uh, gas station, and car wash, garage here on the left. I sometimes have my car washed here. And now I'm going to take Yahya Al Ayashi Street. I've just turned onto Yahya Al Ayashi Street here in Hussein Day in the area of Broset. So the, this neighborhood or this part of Hussein Day is still known as Broset. There is a mosque here on, on my left. Okay, let's take a detour and film it. Then I'm going to drive back onto this street. So this is the Broset Mosque. There used to be a bus station down there. Now I'm going to take this alley in order to join Yahya Yeshi Street again. Okay, take your time. Oh, it's a dead end. I didn't realize that. I didn't know that it was barred. Never mind, this happens. This little street is known as Bushema. Father and son. Or how hard it is to turn around on a narrow street like this, despite the fact that I have the. I have the Kuya Nazir. Despite the fact that I have a medium-sized car, it's neither big nor small. It's a Hyundai Eon, about the size of this car here on the on the right, the Skoda Fabia. A little bit smaller than it, just a little bit. And now I hope that this isn't. A, there is no entry sign here, and there is still a small bus station here, by the way. That bus over there, it's a private bus that carries people from from Broset to. Uh, a neighborhood known as, uh, I think, Nakharia. I don't know, I don't remember. Or I think, uh, or is it, uh, yes, Bejjarra, Bejjarra, yes. So, this area here is serviced by private buses that carry people to 
best jarrah. All right, guys, so we are back on track now, headed towards El Madania. And in order to avoid any traffic, I will show you how, you know, all, all the areas, I mean, all the streets, I'd use as shortcuts in order to join those major roads that uh, practically never never suffer from traffic. This is the court of Hussein Day and I'm taking this street here on the left in order to drive to Ferdinand Hanafi Street. As a kid I I loved coming here uh, when I was in ninth grade in middle school, I had to be tutored uh, in math. And there was a, a young lady who lived here who tutored kids in math. And uh, I enjoyed coming here with a friend in order to, to study math. was long ago in the 1990s this neighborhood is known as Le Vauban and now we have arrived in Mirosole another neighborhood located uh, east of Day. and now we are on the Ferdinand Hanafi Street Enjoy the luxury of running uh, without without being afraid of encountering any traffic. This part of Hanafi Street is plagued with traffic during the day, but now it's too early for for that. And of course, whenever I find traffic here, there are other streets I use as alternative routes. And today, because there is no, uh, I mean, I'm not expecting to find traffic in the central part of Cuba. I'm going to drive to El Badenia via that part of, of the city. There is that green lattice on the left. There used to be a house, a beautiful house, colonial house. They demolished it recently and now they will certainly build something new there, either a new house. I hope it will be more beautiful. Or, or a building, just like the one on the right. La Maras Hotel. And in 2015, there was still a house there where the hotel is located. A beautiful two-floor house with big windows and a beautiful view on the sea. I used to admire that house, but uh, they unfortunately demolished it and built this hotel. But of course, uh, the city needs to develop. Building office buildings and hotels uh, is more profitable than just having houses. And of course, the owners of those houses can build new houses anywhere, provided they have money. And that's a big city, Algiers is changing, of course, and it's becoming. I mean, development has a cost. Cities need to develop. 
but development is achieved at a cost. And now we have reached the central part of uh, Kuba. This is Muhammad Rabia Street. The city hall is on the right. There is a park here on the left, a beautiful park. There are still many buildings under construction. And as you can see, Algiers keeps developing. And this is a good sign when you see lots of buildings under construction in the city. You've got to to, to realize that uh, it's uh, you know it's a positive thing. The city is changing and it's, it's changing for the better. It's in constant reconstruction. It's reinventing itself. And in Europe, one particular city that's known for its. Uh, uh, ever-present construction sites, construction projects is uh, is Berlin. If you go, if you have been to Berlin, then you you you, you might have realized that uh, the city has many many uh, uh, construction sites. It's been like that uh, for decades now. Everywhere you look in Berlin, you would see uh, you would see cranes, construction equipment, and new buildings being erected. That's good. And of course the. The more new buildings the city has, the more modern, the more, the more modern it would look. Martyrs Memorial. We're driving under the esplanade of uh, the Martyrs Memorial. Now, if you want to visit the Martyrs Memorial. You turn around here at this roundabout on the left, then you you go back down on the Ullman Street until you find the entrance to the garage. And now I'm going to enter. I'm going to enter El Medania via street called the Avenue des Frères Madani, the Madani Brothers Avenue. The department complex on the right is known as Le Confort. And there is a balcony here on the right, as well as a, a cableway station. But the cableway station is temporarily closed. We are in March 2023. And now I'm going to enter El Madania via the, the avenue, l'avenue du frère Madani, the Madani Brothers Avenue, which is less congested compared to the to the central roundabout I usually access it through Martyrs Memorial is on the left now and this is the avenue there is almost no traffic here in the morning speed bumps this is a speed bump near uh, an elementary school Usually you'd find plenty of speed bumps uh, near elementary schools and there is a prayer room here on the right 
a musalla, that's what they call it in Arabic. It's a prayer room, it's smaller than a mosque. It's just there for people to pray. Uh, the difference between a mosque and a musalla is that, uh, you know, in a mosque they hold the Friday prayer, whereas in a musalla they don't. They don't, they don't pray the Friday prayer in the Mosala. The Friday prayer is a, is a big prayer where Muslims gather in order to, to pray and listen, listen to a sermon, two sermons, khutbas, two sermons, delivered by the Imam. And the Imam is the leader of the prayer. He's a, the one who leads the prayer. He has to be uh, a knowledgeable person, a person who knows about Islam. All right, guys. Uh, so this is Said Khwadri Street, and now all I have to do is to is find the, a parking spot. I hope that okay. It took us. It only took us a quarter of an hour in order to drive here, and I have already spotted a good, nice, big, wide, roomy uh, parking spot. Uh, I hope that you found this video interesting. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notifications button in order to receive notifications on, few, on my future videos. Visit Algiers, drive safely and take care of yourselves. Goodbye.